hi so today in this video i'm going to talk about a question someone has asked me uh, which is that is it easy or how easy it is to make hundred thousand us dollar in quant finance right uh, the question doesn't mention as to in which location but i assume it is look all over the world like um right but but i assume i mean the guy who has asked me this is an indian guy so I assume he's asking a qu this question from the India perspective, but I'm going to talk about that from a global perspective. And uh, but to answer the question in a very straightforward way, uh, if you are a fresher and you want to get a hundred thousand US dollar in quant finance sitting in India, that's not quite easy. I know some companies are paying that kind of money or even more than that, but there are not many jobs there. I think some global trading firms are paying hundred thousand plus in some of these IITs. Uh, but there's simply not many jobs uh, like that. And a lot of these jobs also uh, are overseas jobs, right? They're not jobs based out of India, but you know, they hire people either for Singapore or Hong Kong or Dubai. Okay, so that's uh, different actually, right? But it's not impossible to make that kind of money after working for a couple of years. And I'm going to talk about that actually, right? I'll, I'll, I'll add a bit of nuance as to how that is possible. Right? Many of my colleagues, um who you know i started with long back i think uh they're making much more than that right uh, so uh let me tell you as to how that is possible that you can make hundred thousand us dollar um in quant finance so if you're based out of uh you know global financial centers like london and new york right either you are doing your studies there or you are a native of that that those places then it's a relatively easier to make uh, you know 100000 us dollar in many jobs that would even would be even uh, a starting salary or even you'll be making more than that in london or or in new york or chicago but then as you know right making 100000 us dollar in new york is not uh, a big deal because you know the cost of living uh, is is insanely high there right um but you can you can make that kind of money right uh in some uh companies you, you won't make even that kind of money right starting salary would be even less than that to be honest right but you go grow really fast in this uh field and uh you you, you can indeed make decent salary later on right and if you're best out of india i think the starting salary in in most of the quant jobs would be anywhere between you know 10 15 lakhs to about 30 to 35 lakhs in that range um so that's definitely not hundred thousand us dollar but if you look at you know the purchasing p p power parity the ppp and take that into account i think uh making 30 lakhs in india is equivalent to making let's say hundred thousand in in new york right in some of the investment banks you could even st start making uh, you could even make more money more money than 30 lakhs uh you could be even making 40 45 lakhs uh, as fresher but again, you know, most of the jobs actually pay anywhere between 15 to 30 lakhs, I think, no, not more than that. There may be exception, by the way, but I, I'm not sure. But uh, so far, my knowledge goes, uh, this is the salary range. But how is it possible that you make 100,000? So the thing is that first, you need to uh, really uh, learn some of the uh, core skills, right? You know, when, as a fresher, most people have no idea. This is a technical field, right? You have no idea what how things are in the real world, right? So you are in the learning phase. Your bargaining power is very, very less initially. But after you have worked for, let's say, four or five years, uh, you can bargain a lot. And let me tell you one of the unique thing about uh, quant finance, uh, unlike other fields, unlike software engineering, which is another technical field, is that you can grow really fast in quant finance, as in, you can become a senior quant even with five to seven years of experience if you really have quality experience, high quality experience for a variety of reasons, right? First of all, uh, there is a you know, lack of supply of people in this field. Some people even leave finance after a few years because they don't want to work in finance so they move to other places. So that also creates a, more of a, a supply problem. So because of demand supply gap, that's one reason, but there are other reasons, right? If you have high quality experience, right? Uh, you can move to let's say a smaller financial service organization or maybe less known uh, bank or, or asset management company whatever be that kind of company and you can bargain a more higher salary there if you have a good brand on your CV for instance if I worked for uh, Citibank 
right and you know even at a media level see uh, junior media level for let's a couple of years like three four years you can already become uh, a, a senior guy in in some of these uh, european european banks because european banks do value the experience of the us banks uh, quite a lot right so you can quickly grow in that field and second thing is that um you would change jobs okay um it is unfortunate that growing within the same company is is not always easy sometimes you have to change jobs and uh, i would suggest that uh, don't stay in a job more than 3 years you know initially you should be changing jobs within your own organization or outside uh, every let's say two and a half years and and three years if you're not learning then it's better to change your job within even one or or 18 months time but if you're learning a lot then stay in that job for at least three years three to four years a good time to move to a new job and you know start uh, bargaining uh, for and if you want to become a, a team lead right you then you can easily sh- uh, start making really good money in london you can easily make 100000 plus pound which is about 100000 120 30000 us dollar in the in the us you know again it depends on what kind of job what kind of role all that uh, but but it's not that difficult to make 140 uh, 50 base salary uh, after having uh, experience of 4 uh, 5 years in india it's actually quite possible you can make easily 40 50 lakhs uh, it's, it's not that difficult especially at team lead level that's quite possible i when i take talk to um, some of my students actually in those who learned from some of the modeling techniques from me i think long i think quite a few years back so I, when i talk to some of them they they make that kind of money some of, many of them actually are working as team leads or managers senior managers so in that uh, level or avp bp level you can easily make 40 50 lakhs and above right uh, also there are you know it, it differs a lot right it's not like everybody will make that kind of money some people will make more more than that lot more than that some probably won't make that kind of money Okay, <coughs> one of the uh, easiest way to uh, reach to that salary level, a good salary level, hundred thousand k, is is to uh, move abroad. You can't move abroad easily to US unless your uh, company, the you are working in India, the US company is generous enough to you know send you to US. Uh, but otherwise, it's it's difficult. Like one of the company that I used to work with, that used to send uh, people to the US for two year, three years. um okay so that used to do that but not many us companies do that but i know people who work at city bank or they work at uh, well for go fidelity you know these companies in bangalore or mumbai some of them have gotten opportunity to go to uh, the us uh, in fact one of my uh, one of my intern she used to work uh, yeah uh, with me for some time she used to she yeah, is working in uh, morgan stanley new work yeah <clears throat> so she moved there from from uh, mumbai so that's not always easy but it's possible right uh, there are also other companies like american express visa mastercard and many us banks uh, or insurance company in 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 india uh, you you work there for a couple of years and try internally to move from india to 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 us uh, but that's uh, not always easy right but you can easily apply in uh, countries uh, in in european countries in london but also other uh, countries in the uh, european union uh, you can also apply in hong kong in in middle eastern countries in singapore i think easier to go to these places compared to you know going to the us right uh, going to us directly is, is i think quite difficult right uh but to europe it's it's relatively uh, easier right and that's when you know you can bargain quite well and and you can easily make 100000 uh if you have a, a about 5 to 7 years of experience um some com- in some countries in europe they don't pay that kind of money when they hire people from outside but they they do give some perks right you get relocation allowance joining bonus etc etc so that compensate for the you know the the lower pay maybe for the first uh, year or two right <clears throat> so that's another way the third way is uh, to yeah a, to actually work for uh, you know companies in india that pay really well for example some of these us firms in india 
pay really great money especially for a model development kind of role some of the areas in model development uh, for example uh, are more in demand compared to the others try to get into areas where you know it, it things are very very uh, technical um, you know things uh, areas such as let's say uh, you know pricing of derivative uh, areas such as validation of some you know exotic uh, models you know areas such as you know let's say development of uh, wholesale models uh, but if you let's say you are doing monitoring of some portfolio right that may not be in demand for a you know uh, for a very high pay right so you, you really need to then work on extremely technical things right make sure that your job profile is great and you work at great brands right that's when you move really fast and once you become a team lead at some of these mnc banks in uh, foreign banks in india uh, you can you can make great money right but is it possible to make hundred thousand dollar in india uh, what i have heard is that even in banks right and insurance companies some of my few former colleagues are making that kind of money uh, i am not going to talk about the details which companies pay and all that but it's it's possible but that will take at least 10 to 12 years and uh, in some of the consulting firms also big four consulting firms also you can make that kind of money right now talking about money actually it's it's a very very difficult topic to talk about because you know it's not just money that uh, you care about in in a job there are other things right uh, and that should never be your first motivation let me tell you in finance if you are coming to finance only for money i think you probably will be disappointed because you can make also good money in other fields such as software engineering you can work for amazon cisco intel or you know the, all these companies and make quite good money there right the reason why you should be uh, working in finance any kind of finance is that you like finance and if you like mathematics coding finance economics stock market you know finance in general i think quant finance is one area that will really uh, make you happy and uh, you can make a really great career out of it um, stable career long term wise it's also good um, and uh, the money is also quite especially the ones who do well uh, you you have great potential to make good money okay so these are things i wanted to share with you uh, how to approach it you know it's it's again very personal as to uh, the approach that uh, is required for one person may not work well for uh, someone else right uh, you know yourself more than anybody else so you need to assess yourself right do you want to let's say work a couple of years in india and then move abroad and make quick money there that's one way or you just want to grow within india and uh, you want to grow become a lead and because in india actually you will have uh, more opportunities compared to some of the other countries let me tell you in europe for example first few, few years you will be more like uh, a team member uh, you know in, in a team of 100 people whereas in india it's it's different because uh, the market is growing and there are so many options right india is an outsourcing hub so you have hundreds of such companies uh, present there but in in europe except for london you will not have that many companies and hence the career growth is bit slow right maybe the initial money will be okay or bit more than okay but i think the growth uh, as prospects are somewhat less in, especially in in continental europe london is an exception to that switzerland is also good luxembourg is also good amsterdam is also good frankfurt paris these are places also good but outside of these places yeah, yeah there are not uh, many opportunities in in arabic countries uh, you also have great um, uh, opportunities there right uh, what i have heard is that uh, they pay also really great money but not everybody can move out of the country for a variety of reasons but maybe for personal reason in that scenario just give your best in india remember one thing that the opportunities in quant space in india is actually really really good because there are simply hundreds of such companies um, you know work uh, they are in in india and i think they ha- hire thousands of such people every year so uh, if you really work hard and and gain some core technical skills in this area and have expertise in in some products 
some uh, regulatory areas some modeling techniques and you have uh, the necessary soft skills to lead teams to talk to you know people in front office or middle office uh, those who are based out of uh, you know financial centers like london and and new york right uh, within the organization if you have that kind of skills right because unlike software engineering this is very interdisciplinary right you need to be good uh, in technical matters right mathematics and 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 coding and modeling you also need to be having a good amount of knowledge of finance and products and everything and you should have good soft skills to talk to people from front office and, and you know other areas of compliance and risk and so on so for, so that's uh, you know in the not many people who actually can do all three right uh, in in software engineering if you are a good software engineer that's that's enough right there will be business analyst working for you or product managers and then testers and what not but or maintenance people but in in quant finance you have to do everything right it's not easy to find such people right who can do everything and that's exactly the reason why you really make decent quite decent money uh, after working for a few years uh, but the first few years four five years is the challenge and that's exactly what i tell people those who reach out to me because some people are a little bit impatient uh, you know i come across some people who think that just because they do have a, a degree from an elite university they deserve and people will invite them and make uh, pay them some insane great money uh, let me tell you that i am not sure about other fields but that's not going to happen in the field of finance except for some uh, areas uh, that's not going to happen right in regulatory areas uh, it's never going to happen it never going to be the case that people hire uh, you know a top guy from uh, from some computer science department in in iit bombay and pay some 1 crore probably not going to happen i don't think even goldman sachs in india pay that kind of money so uh, all right so that's exactly what uh, that these are some of the things i wanted to share with you as always well thanks for watching guys and and see you next time